Hey everybody. Okay, we're going to get going on the cushion portion. Uh, this is the foam. Like I said, it's really in good shape. Just has one little divot there, so we're good there. And what I recommend is we uh, we tack them down with this uh, Super 77 from 3M. The other thing I wanted uh, the foam so it makes it easier to install. What I do want to caution, uh, when you're cutting out your wood, if you are replacing the wood like we are, uh, make sure that the wood is the right size. Uh, sometimes even the original product, is the wood is too big. And what happens is, let's say the foam, this one fits perfectly. So we don't have that problem. But sometimes you'll get like corners like that. It will stick out and the foam is there. And so when, you, when you're putting the vinyl on, on these corners, it goes out at an angle and it's really rough on the vinyl and it doesn't look very good. So make sure the, the wood is, should be actually a hair smaller than the foam. So there is no wood really in much contact with the vinyl. My recommendation. Okay, just, we're just going to tack. Put a little bit of a mist on this thing. It sets pretty quickly, that's good. And uh, run our hands around and make sure we're as centered as we can be. That feels pretty good. Okay, here's that one. Okay, now this is uh, the base that goes below the wood where the plastic insert holds it. And what we'll do, I want to put a little, we're going we're gonna to staple this, but I want to put a little tack on it first. And they recommend you, you uh, put the goo on both sides. And again, we try to put it back. I leave my lines on there, so they're somewhat centered. Let's turn it over, make sure I don't have any bubbles. Yeah, we do. This will allow the water in the air to dry out this wood so it won't be sitting in a puddle of water. Okay, let's let this dry a little bit longer and I'll bring it back and we'll... I just wanted to show you uh, one of the corners. They're a little tricky. There's not a real good way to do them that I can figure. So I just kind of fold it a little bit. Cleat like thing. Tuck that under and then pull it. Yeah. Here we go. It's pretty good, huh? So that will be our base. That attaches to the bottom of the, the foam foot. So here we go. Uh, now let's sew this and put it together. Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, we've cut out the boxing now all the way around and the piping. And we have the top plate. So we are ready to put this thing together. Sewing wise anyway. Now you can either you can either attach the piping to the boxing or you can attach it to the top plate. I recommend you do it to the top plate for the simple reason is when we when we get to the end of if we have it attached to a boxing, we'll have it here and we have to splice the piping and we have to make the seam to close that off. So 
So you've got a lot of moving parts, and if you put it on the plate first, so that the piping is on the plate, then that is fixed, and then you can, we can, I'll show you, we'll, we'll get around and we'll, we'll weld it together in the back, and that will all be done. So then all we have to do is put the piping on and make the seam, and we're done. So let me, uh, oh, one other thing I want to show you. When I, when I duplicated this top plate, as you see, I've got it, I like to cut mine right on the, almost on the uh, edge of the foam. And the reason I do that is, I don't know if you can see here, but the original product had the piping kind of an inch down, which I think piping belongs right on the edge, as close as you can get it. When I duplicated and traced the original vinyl for the top plate, I had another like inch, and that's why the piping was so low. So I threw that away and I cut, I put the foam, put this on the foam, retraced it and cut it so that it's almost exactly the same size. Now I made this an inch longer for the boxing because we have to fold that under and staple it and we'll be cutting it off anyway and I never like to leave myself short. So that's kind of the way that is. Let me get the uh, piping put on here and I'll bring you back. Back everybody. So what we did is we sewed the edge out all the way around and now we've got left this and <clears throat> what you want to do is we want to cut the, the core to the correct length and then we just simply wrap them around each other and we sew them together to the plate tight weld on there and this part here this will be underneath the uh, boxing will cover that up so you won't see it so all we have is this bump there and it's on the back so and again we mark the back of our center there center of the back so that we're kind of close to where that is and that doesn't look too bad huh put that little bump there and it'll be I'll say it'll be in the back of the back of the operation here okay uh, we've got the boxing on. This is our plate. This is our boxing. Uh, what I do recommend, again, as I mentioned a lot of times, make sure you go around and check your sewing from the plate to the boxing and this piping in the middle, especially on the corners. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm a little, a little distant there. I would like to get that a little closer and cover up those thread marks there. The rest of it looks really good, but I think I can do better there. Anyway, I will do that. What I want to show you is now that we're here, this is our seam. We welded the boxing, I mean the piping. That's why I say I think it's easier if you put it on the plate first. And then now the only thing we have to worry about is making this seam here. So we have to sew these together. That's why you always want to have extra. I have, you know, five or six inches of extra material there. So we'll pinch those together and we need to sew there and we obviously then need to finish our sew there. And then when I do that, I will fix that corner. Back. And all that we did is we turned it inside out again and we tried to make it nice and square. We put it, the pinch right up against the piping and I, what I did is I tacked a couple of staples there to make sure my line is nice and square. This will be cut off, of course, after we sew. So now we've got to try to sew right down here evenly. I'll do that and show you what it looks like.